Hey, what's up guys? The Home Depot and Diablo sent these blades to me so I can show you how they work and test them out. This is a two pack of the 12 inch 44 teeth general purpose blades. I'm gonna put them on this compound miter saw right here. And right now I have the original blade on there. So I'm gonna just show you how that blade cuts and how it sounds and then we're going to put one of these on there and then we'll see how this one cuts and sounds. Before we get started I just want to show you some of the advantages that Diablo has on their blades. So now we're looking at the back of the saw blade package. It has five times the cutting performance of standard blades. It has extreme durability and cutting life with Diablo Tico High Density Carbide. In case you're wondering what that stands for, it's Titanium Cobalt High Density Carbide. It has less drag gumming and corrosion with a perma shield coating, smooth and clean cuts with ultra thin laser cut curve design, straight and accurate cuts, laser cut heat expansion slots right there. I've actually had a circular saw blade warp on me because it didn't have the ability to absorb heat like this one does. It has a better quality finish with precision tensioning, computer controlled process which keeps the blade flat has precise and clean cuts with advanced stabilizer vents, which absorbs the noise and vibration and prevents sideways movement. And it withstands extreme impact. It has trimetal shock resistance brazing, which provides a high performance shock absorber behind every tooth. It has a lifetime guarantee on it. Freud, Italy. Bella. So now we're going to test this original blade out with a 2x10 right here, dry 2x10. And one of the comments on the saw itself right here, people were saying, well one person at least, maybe two, that the blade that, that comes with it has a little ringing sound afterwards. So let's see if we can hear that. Alright, here we go. Hear that ring? All right, let's try it one more time. Okay, here's a look at the two cuts we had with the original blade that came with the saw. So I definitely have used it some, and it's a general purpose on this two by 10. There. All right, so what I like about the saw right here, it has onboard storage right here, this tool. So it's really easy to change the blade. You just loosen this right here. Loosen this one right here. Then I can get to this right here. On the back side right here, there's a button you push and that locks the blade. Here it is. All right, beautiful. This is a reverse thread. Okay, so now we have the new blade installed. Let's see how it looks. Get my safety glasses on to see if it's a nice straight. All right, everything looks good. Let's do a cut. I don't hear that ringing. Interesting. Now I'm gonna get a close up look at the cut quality. So this is the cut with the new blade. Looks pretty clean to me for a general purpose cut. Not bad. I will take that. What do you think? I have a few more splinters that time. Overall, I'd say that looks nice and straight. 
Feels good. Okay, let's try a few other cuts with this besides two by tens. So right here I have a one by three maple. Just do a couple cuts on that. All right, let's try a 45 cut. Yep, I'd say that looks good. Ooh, that one looks really good. I'm happy with that. What do you think? Yeah, overall, that will work. This is gonna be a picture frame right here. This is some rough sawn cedar, one by four. I'm just gonna cut this because I need an excuse so I can smell that cedar. Love it, ready? Mm, I love the smell of fresh cut cedar. How about you guys? So my goal of this video is to show you guys how this saw blade works, how it sounds, how it cuts. Put it through a variety of tests so you can see if it's the right blade for you. If you enjoy this video, please help support my channel by giving it a thumbs up. All right, friends, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.